Alright guys, in this video let's talk a bit about indexing. Now I think we all remember our textbooks where the first few pages were indexed. So they would contain a chapter name and the corresponding page number. So if you had to find a particular chapter, say chapter 10, which was on page 100, we could directly turn over to page 100. We did not have to go through page number 1 to 100 just to find that particular chapter. Now, indexing is something similar in MongoDB as well, in the sense that MongoDB does not have to scan each and every document when you have an index present. So, let us just go through some of the commands on, on how indexing works. Now, the first command is db.employees.find.pretty. Now we have our list of documents. Now to, let us say we want to create an index on the email field. So the command is db.employees.ensure index and we want to create it on email one. So now okay we have created the index. Now, to check what are the indexes in our current collection, you can say db.employees.getIndex. db.employees.getIndexes. And when we run this, we get two indexes. The first one is ID, which is already created by MongoDB. The second one is the email, which we just created. Now, to drop an index, just say db.employees.dropindex and email 1. So, okay. So, when we go back to get indexes, we just have ID as an index. Now, the major advantage of indexing is when you have millions of documents, querying the data is going to take a huge amount of time and creating an index is going to reduce it down to fractions. Now, you you would not want to create an index on each and every field in in the document because then you would just be creating recreating the document itself. So you would want to create an index on fields that you think are going to be unique in the document. For example, an email ID or a username or an employee ID and on this basis. So that's it about indexes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.